Hey everyone, by the end of this video, you will know how to use the iterator module in Integromat. My name is Dominic Lienert, let's get right into it. So the way the iterator module works in Integromat is that it basically allows you to split up data sets. So you have a um, data set flowing into the iterator module on the one side, it comes out on the other side and it allows you to split it. So which data sets exactly can you split? So you can't just split any data sets, but if you have an array, so you have a list of elements in the data set that is coming in, then you can split the data set. And that iterator, what this iterator is basically going to do. So as an example, we have one data set coming in, which has three um, parts in its array, three elements in its array, then what this iterator is going to do, it's first going to push out the first part, the first element of the list, then it's going to push out the second element of the list, and then it's going to push out the third element of the list. Pretty simple, right? Let's hop over to Integromat and see how that works in Integromat. So over here in Integromat, we now want to build a very basic example scenario for how to use the iterator. One use case for the iterator would be that if we want every email we, re we receive, we want to store the attachment to the email in our Dropbox account. How would we do that? So first of all, we need a mail module. In this example, it's a Gmail module. Then we go over down here to the green tools selection, and then we can use the iterator. So we select the iterator, throw that one in, and then we want the Dropbox. So we want to upload each and every file coming in to our Dropbox account. Then in the iterator, we will then just select the array we want to iterate over. So in this case, it would be the attachment. So we, for each attachment, one um, data set is going to come out at the other side. So this is going to be the actual file. And then we just select our Dropbox um, connection or we set up a new Dropbox connection and then it's going to upload the file. We just have to select which folder, et cetera, et cetera, and what we want to select for the file name. One thing you want to be careful with the Dropbox component to um, upload files is with the override an existing file. So if you set this, if it finds a similar file with the same name, it's going to overwrite the file. If you don't set this one, then if it tries to basically upload the same file or supposedly the same file, meaning a file with the same name into the same folder, then it's going to throw you an error, uh, sorry, error, if the file already exists. So this is in very simple terms, how to use the iterator module in Integromat. There is a second module to this iterator module, and this is basically the aggregator, which does the complete opposite, which I also explained in another video. If you wanna know more about that, you can check that out. If you want to help me make these videos and stay caffeinated doing these videos, you can buy me a coffee below. And also, if you want to discuss a specific question you might have about Integromat, you can also buy me a coffee below. That allows me to set aside some time on my calendar and we can hop on a Zoom call and discuss your questions. My name is Dominic Leonard. Take care and goodbye.